Alrighty, Kim, thank you. It is 604 right now. The other big story that we're following for you this morning is the search for the driver of this minivan. Yes, because he is wanted for running over a local teenager in Wixom and leaving that child to die in the street. Local force Nick Monticelli is working this story for us. And Nick, your heart just goes out to this grief stricken family. Well, here's the thing, Rondo. So the headline itself is bad enough. A 14 year old boy killed by riding his own bicycle. But then when you hear that the driver of that minivan not only took off, but found some place to ditch the minivan and take off. That makes it even worse. The windshield of this minivan answers the question. It is nearly impossible for the driver not to know the 14 year old boy was hit. Investigators say the boy was riding his bike on Potter between Black Locust and Flamingo in Wixom when the minivan ran the boy over and took off. He was rushed to the hospital, but did not survive. Come on. You don't run away from something like that. Man up. Instead, please say the man behind the wheel drove with the broken windshield and all of this front end damage nearly two miles away to this mobile home park where he parked and ditched the van. Yeah, I do have a message for the driver. Turn yourself in. Back in the neighborhood, people looked on in disbelief as investigators tried to determine if the driver ever slowed down. This deadly bicycle hit and run touches the Wixom Public Safety Director, who just gave a warning to students at two graduations hours earlier. If you're out riding your bikes in the street, please be careful, wear your helmets. So to have this happen just hours after, after those remarks, it, it, it just tears me up. Now it goes without saying this morning that if you know anything, please call the Wixom Public Safety Department, the Oakland County Sheriff's Department, or you can call Crime Stoppers. That number is 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Hopefully, Everod and Rhonda, somebody calls in some kind of tip. We're live in the newsroom, Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News today. Yeah, we certainly do hope so. Nick, thank you. It is